Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Maverick. We do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Maverick and uh, right now I'm living out of my truck. Today, I'm in the middle of Montana, or actually not so much the middle, more so the northern part. Yesterday, I wasn't able to get fish. I was in the southern part of the state fishing near Yellowstone. Um, fishing river, what's known as the Madison River. I drove three hours north to the small town and this is one of the best trout fisheries in the world. There's 1,800 trout per mile of this river and there's rainbows, there's browns, there's any kind of trout that you'd want in here. Um, they even have walleyes in here, which is crazy. So hopefully I can uh, pop my Montana cherry today. The trout aren't busting right now, so apparently it's a good time to be throwing some nymphs. Um, we're gonna get down to the water right now and hopefully uh, we can get some rainbows. So this is the spot, huh? Right on that. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh Look my god. Are you kidding me? This, <laughs> they call this the aquarium. Bro. Come on. There's browns, rainbows, cut bows right here. They're everywhere, dude. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna dude, mess around with these nymphs first. You could sit here all day and catch a hundred <laughs> fish. I'm not bullshitting <laughs> no, you. One come on. Bit. There's one. Oh! You're gonna get one, bro. I promise you. You're gonna get one. Dang, dude. That felt good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it disappeared. I don't know if it was that. You know when you're a little kid and you learn how to fish with bobbers, you know? Yeah. And that excitement, yeah. it's the same. Camera fit for it, they freak out. Okay, don't even touch it now, just let it float for a second. Because they're swirling up underneath you right now. Up yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Oh my! In that big current. So just walk. Oh! Walk this way. Yep, just keep tight line. Okay, it, where do you go down? Your, so what I do is I come up and I go down this little trail right here. Okay. Okay. What, have we got a bow on here? Yeah, it's a bow. Okay. It's all the way out of the water right Yeah, here. he jumped like five feet in the air. It's a good one. Yeah, he's decent. He's like 14, 15. Oh, so this isn't even a big one. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh no. Dude, this thing took off like a freight train. I watched him eat too. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Once he gives you his head, he'll give you his head. Like right now, just pull his head up out of the water. Oh shit, pull. did I snag him? Yeah, that's all right. No, all right. you probably hooked him, but he came off and got the snake. You want to take a pic? Well guys, my first rainbow trout and popped my Montana cherry. Beautiful. So that's a beautiful rainbow trout it's probably only about 15 15 inches i'd say yeah 14 15. not a super giant but pop my montana cherry thank you so much absolutely so we're gonna get this guy back just kind of wiggle him a little bit back and forth kind of like letting a musky go mm-hmm all right see you dude there heck you yeah goes. all right so what is that that is a dragonfly nymph this is just a prince nymph purple but you're trying to imitate whatever is hatching in the river so those dragonfly nymphs are what's coming up right now there's tons of them in the foam right now so if, if you can get something down just below the foam that looks halfway like it that's what they're trying to eat we just pulled this right out of the weeds too so yeah out of the weeds that either. were stuck on the flies so <laughs> that's what they're eating if it looks somewhat like it that's what they want to eat perfect don't touch it <sighs> just let it stay in that zone right there 
And then fight him from down there. If you can fight him from up here, he's gonna run to fast water. What is it, a bow? Yeah, it's another bow. Dude. Nice bow. Yeah, nice bow, brother. Hooked up on the second fish of the day. It took a while. A big learning curve with me in this uh, this type of fishing. Setting the hook wrong, fishing the wrong parts of the parts of the drift, but got a second one on. Okay. Nice. Nice bow. All right, so there's my second bow. This one was hooked in the mouth this time, because I set the hook. What I believe to be right, don't drop him. Nice, okay. I'm gonna get this guy off. And you didn't fight him too long, so no. just fling the flies to this, there you go, perfect. I'm just gonna, okay, we're just gonna let him go. He's gonna go, he's, he's gonna, gonna go, go he's whether, gonna go whether, whether or, not. or not. Yeah, he's on <laughs> his own time. I don't wanna drop that fish on the rocks, but a big, a big key to, uh, when you're when you're fishing for these fish, if you're gonna if you're not gonna keep fish, you want to have uh, the least amount of handling that you can on them. So, as you can tell there, I got my hands wet. Um, I did get it a little bit on my shirt. That's that's probably a no go. But uh, try to be as careful as you can with these fish if you're letting them go. If you keep them neat, I mean, keep yeah, them neat. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, dude. That was sick. Absolutely. Heck yeah. That was Absolutely. A, that was definitely a little bit bigger fish. Probably about yeah. a 22 incher. I don't know. Hopefully we can get. I want to get one more. Maybe get like a brown or something. The the bucket list thing of the day is just to get a brown. I already got the rainbow. That's awesome. But let's try to get the brown now. Heck yeah. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Badass. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what do we got going on here? Oh yeah. Somebody left a dolly. Yeah. Look. Absolutely. Take that son of a gun. Yeah. That's, that's a good. That's a good dolly still. That's a five dollar lure. Yep. <laughs> oh, dude, I gotta get down there fast. He's running me into the rock. This is a better fish. They all feel better. What am I saying? You ever face planted doing this? Oh, yeah. Yeah? There you go. And let's drag him up into that trough. Come on, buddy. All right, there's the third bow of the day. It's got a funny jaw. Oh, oh. oh man. <laughs> dude, I cannot handle these fish. It's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do it here in a second. Now on the next one, you're gonna catch lots one? more. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. It's about a uh, high noon right now. Heat's picking up, so now I got the sun buff on. But there's still a lot of fish here. It's crazy. Even in the sun, you can. Well, now that the sun's out, you can just see so many more fish, and he's not lying. There's probably about 800, 800 fish just sitting right here. It's insane. Might actually, I'm trying to figure out a way I can show you guys this better, but I need a polarized filter, so. Yeah, go get your polarized filter on. Put the drone up. Let's put, yeah. let's, let's put the drone up, let's see. Let's see if we can see. All right, well, we just flew the drone around a little bit. Couldn't really tell if I could see fish on the phone or not, but I guess we'll review the footage. Let me know if you guys could see the trout down there. I, I honestly have no idea. It's getting super hot out today. It's gonna be 95 degrees here in Montana. So we are gonna load up the truck and we're gonna go find some food. All 
All right, guys, well, I'm gonna finish up some lunch here, and uh, I don't know, I might take a nap or edit up a video or something for you guys. So I finally popped my Montana cherry. So I got three Montana rainbows today, each of which were over 17 inches. Um, can't say thank you enough to everybody that helped me get here, and I don't know, it was, uh, it was a great experience just being able to get out and get on some fish. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Um, I'd appreciate it if you went down below, gave this video a comment or a like if you liked it. Um, maybe hit that notification bell, it mean the world to me. But until next time, my name's Maverick, and you already know the drill, just keep on trucking. Want like it, that's what they want to eat. You don't even have to have what they're eating on the line. <laughs>